Hey everybody, Rena Makhdoum here and I am going to tell you how to feel better really quick and really fast. You know, ever since the pandemic happened, I have heard so many people talking about, hey, I'm stressed out, I have so much tension in my life, I just can't seem to relax. I realized when this pandemic happened that there are jewels in this opportunity and last week I sat down and I made a list of all the things and blessings I had gotten because of the way the world shifted and no I never wanted this to happen and no it wasn't fun but to have the world shift like that makes a huge difference and so we want to know that you know everything is for us and maybe there are some blessings in that that we are not seeing so the biggest way that I know how to do that is to have some kind of life design did you know more people spend more time planning a two-week vacation than they do planning their entire year let alone their life so wouldn't it be fun to put a little bit of thought and personality and plan into what you want out of your life and what you want out of your year so let's go ahead and do that when I was 22 years old I was lucky to have a mentor and be part of a company that taught me how to think about what I wanted and they asked me what are my goals and I said I don't know what my goals are I went to grade school then I went to high school then I went to college and I got a job that's what people told me to do but you know once you have a job people really don't tell you what to do anymore and where you go from there in life is totally up to you so they asked me what are your goals and I wrote down a list of 21 things that I wanted to do and they were crazy they were crazy it was like ski in Vermont and I wanted to go to like the pyramids and I wanted to see Machu Picchu I mean like weird stuff so I wrote down all the stuff that I had seen in travel magazines things I wanted to do um, have a big house on a hill with a circular driveway and a fountain. I wrote a list of all these things that I was going to do and I, I put them away. I never really thought about it again. I was cleaning out the basement, shifting some stuff around. I found that old list from many, many years ago. And did you know, all except three of those things have already happened. So, you know, let's just plan something, write it down, that's powerful, release it, forget about it, and then see what happens. But there are eight different areas that we want to have some kind of plan for the year and definitely for our life in. So the first one would be financial. That's pretty easy, right? Investments. How much money do you want to make? When do you want to retire? Uh, you know, what kind of work do you enjoy? But what are your financial goals? The second one is educational. And yes, I'm an adult, but you know what? Once 2020 hit, I had to learn and get a new education on how to run a business virtually. I never knew how to do that. I always did the in-person thing, right? Meet people face to face and make contacts that way. I had never done anything virtual and I had to learn how to run a virtual business. So education, you know, what do you need to learn? And now that the world is going on a totally new direction I need to keep shifting and adjusting with it next are your relationship goals right so what kind of parent did I want to be I was noticing at one point that you know I had young kids then I had teenage kids and now I have grown kids living at home and the way you parent those three groups are totally different so I had to work on my parenting relationships and maybe build some skills there so I could be the type of parent I wanted to be and have the patience I wanted to have so let's look at our relationship goals because let's face it relationships are your foundation of happiness another thing we want to do is look at our professional goals where do we want to be in our profession you know where is the career path when do you want to climb up or do you like your job do you want to stay the way it is but everyone has a professional track and ideally in your life what would you like to be I was talking to a lady that always wanted to be a hospital medic but she got pregnant in college dropped out to take care of her son while her husband pursued his degree and now that the kids are in school she went back got her medic license was working for some ambulances and has finally gotten a job as a helicopter medic so maybe that's your thing you know 
figure out where do you want to be now she didn't know that she was going to get pregnant and not finish college but still that dream happened another area of our life that i feel like we don't always focus on are what are our spiritual goals so let's think about that is there some scripture you want to memorize uh do you want more patience do you want to give more charity but what are some spiritual goals that will help you and your soul our legacy what do you want to be known for right everyone has a legacy we want to leave our mark on the planet so what is your legacy going to be is your legacy going to be your family or is your legacy going to be a company what would you like your legacy to be? my grandmother loved working with mentally challenged kids and she took care of many mentally challenged boys early in their teenage years ended up starting a foundation for mentally challenged kids so maybe that's what you want your legacy to be something that lives on after you're gone another area I totally forgot to focus on when I was younger was my health and physical goals so many people have something that makes them look good well absolutely we want clothes that give us confidence and we look good but we also want some kind of health goals so what is your resting heart rate going to be or maybe your heart rate variability is there a blood sugar like level you're going for and of course a fitness goal you know how fit do you want to be how much strength do you want to have how much do you want to weight how much do you want to weight lift and how much do you want to run before you're out of breath so set some targets for yourself i started with running around my circle of driveway one time and then i was like i'm going to run around it two times and then three times you know how long can you keep going until you run out of breath these are all great goals to focus on, like where do we want to be physically? Because it's so easy to lose our flexibility, to lose our strength, because time goes by so fast and we don't notice it. So let's keep that going as well. And finally, you want to do fun and frivolous. Y'all, this is so critical. Okay, people forget fun and frivolous. Why? We need to plan our fun. It's so easy to get into workaholic mode and the year goes by so fast. You know what the saying is, the days are long, but the years are short. We wanna have some fun. So many times I'm talking to clients at workshops and they're like, I've lost motivation. I'm just not passionate anymore. I'm just not excited. I, you know, I'm bored at work. I, you know, the, I'm not sleeping the way I should. Well, yeah, of course not, because you're not having fun. Why would you do all this work and put in all this effort if there's no fun attached to it? So definitely, we want to have some fun in our life. So let's design our lives and really focus on what we want, because when you start focusing on it, you'll realize there's still time and there's still possibilities and there's still hope for you. When we focus on what we want, there's a much higher probability that we'll actually get what we want. And that's a huge step in the right direction.